I've wanted to do environmental construction for a long time. We felt that the U.S. Green Building Council LEED program was filling a niche, but we wanted to do something that was really ahead of the curve and uh, uh, was an exemplary project. Passive House really is a cutting edge energy standard. And if people are concerned about global warming, uh, buildings use, we've heard the numbers before, 40% or whatever it is of the uh, energy use in the country. And so I wanted to try to build an example here in Yellow Springs, Ohio, uh, as to, to, to show that this is possible, that we can actually make a dent in something like that. And this house is gonna cost $100 a year to heat and cool. I think that's a pretty powerful statement. To the extent of the research we've done, we think this is the very first passive house built in Ohio. The walls are 14 inches thick and made out of uh, what they call uh, this is two pound density EPS, expanded polystyrene foam. Um, the R value of a 14 inch wall at two pound EPS is roughly about 60. Um, so the walls are going to be an R60. The floor is R70, I believe, and the roof is going to be R100. The floor is also constructed out of wooden eye joists. In this case, they're 16 inches tall. Your eye joists are engineered to go the full lengths without other beams or supporting structure underneath. They can go from one wall of the house all the way across to the other. Typical structural insulated panels are only four or six inches thick. Uh, one panel is four feet wide by uh, maybe 20 feet long or so, and it weighs about 600 pounds. So we're using a all-terrain forklift with an extending arm to raise them up. The insulation in the floor is the same as what will be in the roof, which is a blown-in fiberglass insulation called spider insulation, and it's packed in very tightly at a 1.8 pounds per cubic foot density. The roof is made out of 24 inch tall, two foot tall wooden eye joists, also known as TJIs. It has a top cord that's a two by four laid flat. The middle is filled in with the same OSB material that's on this windowsill. And the bottom cord then is another two by four. The underside of the roof is going to be in the ceiling side, a layer of OSB. And we're going to uh, make that our air and vapor barrier. The doors are an interesting situation. You can buy doors that are used in actual German passive houses, but they cost like four to six thousand dollars for for one door, and they need to be shipped here from Germany. It's quite a, a process. This is a custom-made door that we made to meet passive house specifications. The store is uh, an R50 uh, heat resistance value. It's made with uh, fiberglass. Um, we have uh, sandwiched some custom sized uh, high density vacuum panels inside. Um, the outer skins, both the inside and the outside skin, are a solid sheet of metal. It's one and three quarter inches thick right here. And in that one and three quarters, we are almost achieving the R value of the entire width of this wall right here. So it's a fairly impressive engineering feat. These doors were made by our local engineer, Eric Lang. These windows are, um, have an R value of nine. The frames are made out of fiberglass. It's composed of two panes of glass. In between the two panes of glass, they've suspended two layers of a clear film. So it essentially acts as a four pane window without the weight of four panes of glass. These are, of course, south-facing windows, so they have a very high solar heat gain coefficient, meaning they let a lot of infrared heat into the room. When we installed them, we had to be just, of course, incredibly careful uh, with respect to air sealing around the perimeter of them, such that we achieve the rigorous passive house air leakage standard.